Hi again, I'm Daryl Gein and this is 14 to 0 Golf. I'm going to show you how to work on your chipping during this lockdown using a metronome. Enjoy the video. <laughs> any old metronome on your phone I like to use this one here and I set it for myself on 80 um, I use that for chipping I use that for putting and I use a slower speed for the um, wedges which I'll show you in a little while I like to do this every couple of weeks anyway because it is a bad issue of mine I'll show you how I do it in the swing as well so I'll, I'll set this up and we'll start chipping Hope you can hear that. Basically, the aim is to hit it on the back stroke. So I want to click at the ball, click at the back stroke. shorten up the strokes just to practice that as well. Do that every couple of weeks and your chipping will definitely improve. Like I say, I use the metronome for chipping, but my main reason for starting to use the metronome was for the putting, and it is great for distance control. So basically, what you're aiming to do is make your backstroke and your, your uh, follow for exactly the same length, but you also want to be taking the same amount of time to do them. So the drill usually involves your ball, and then I put a tee behind, um, behind the ball, away from me, a T at a designated distance behind and a T at a designated distance in front. We haven't got that, so what I've come up with. This is how the putting drill should usually look. Is a piece of wood. We've, we've got C and then two, two, three, three, four, Four, right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it here this isn't where I'll do the putting but I will put this now let's set it to 80 again um, a lot of people use different speeds so you feel free to work what, with what is best but the main important thing is that you're taking the same amount of time to do the things so we'll set it to 80 and we'll do the button there we go so put your stick there ball in the center basically what i'm going to start by doing is getting my club over the club As you can see what I'm trying to do is get the club to click on, go over the C on each metronomic click. If I'm not very good at it, it's because I'm not very good at it, but it does help. So let's just imagine we've got a short putt. We're going to go to this line here and back to that line.
you do it right, it will really help with your distance control. Because if you think about it, you're traveling the same amount of distance, same amount of time, you're gonna build up power and it's just gonna be more consistent. Every time it's gonna be the same amount of power going through, which is gonna be able to make you vary your length and then vary distance the ball goes. Finally, we come to the full swing. I don't use a metronome for a full swing. I find it too complicated, not even the golf metronomes. I've tried it, I don't use it. I don't like to go too crazy with this one, but what I like to do, I'll get more. I like to do this in my head. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. See if I can do it I'm talking, but I don't think I can. One, two. And that's how I work on my tempo. I tend to do this once a week, really make effort. I don't care where the ball goes, what it does, just that I'm sticking to that one, two. Whenever I'm having problems with my swing, it's never normally my swing, it'll be my rhythm and things like that. Hence why when you get angry, you start shanking it everywhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. So, as we've been dealing with our chipping, So, as we've been doing a chipping lesson using the metronome, I thought I'd give you another little something to think about, as the metronome's not really a lesson, as more than more something that we can do during lockdown. So, basically, we've had our first chipping lesson the other day was triangle. We're trying to rotate that. Then we had, uh, well, that was second lesson actually. <laughs> Weight was first lesson, but getting your weight right on your left foot and putting the ball on the front and that wasn't a lesson more making practice harder so what I notice in a lot of high handicappers is that when they're chipping they open the hands up it's open here you can clearly see the back of the hand showing the open wrists toe in the air so that's how they chip and then they're expecting to get it back down and time that face straight every time so it's open. I just don't think you can chip like that. We'll see it from this way. Same again, toe up. If you want to be squaring that face up, it's got to be bowed. Everything's got to bow. Bow. Because we're not rotating this way, not letting our hands do anything. So although we're trying to get a little bit more power with the loft. So I'll do a few chips that way. And that way so you can see. Well, this illustration shows how the hand should be moving when we're chipping. I think what you'll see from these is they tend to be straighter. Pulled one. 
as the wind. So even the pulled one wasn't a terrible chip, it land where I wanted to. So I move that. And see it from this way. If you can use your wrists in that way while you're chipping, you'll be able to square the face up much more often. And if you get any weight control right, you're going to be close. And if you're not, at least you're going to be in the general direction of the hole. Hope that tip works for you. Good luck. So let's have a quick run through of this new chipping wrist action. Here you can see the left wrist clearly open, showing the flat of the back of the hand in the blue box. And here you can see how the left wrist is flat and set up and right wrist and both wrists at the same time. Now, as we move back, you can see the left wrist in yellow bending back and the right wrist in red showing how it arches to allow for this movement. So we're literally just bending the hands back and now I'll just show how the club moves. So this just shows it's moving back rather than twisting round and opening. That should allow you to square your face up better. I hope this tip works for you in your chipping and you can use it during lockdown. Mm -hmm.